context, I don't know how much I personally believe in ghosts. I just know the story is wild. So this was in about 2014, I would say, maybe 2013. And I had this friend named Jacob and this friend named Chris. And Chris was talking about how there was a haunted house in the middle of nowhere, about 30 minutes out of town. Um, he really didn't mean middle of nowhere. So he took us to this house, took a while to get there. And it was a very decrepit, like, honestly, a very dangerous house to even walk in because you stepped on the porch and like your foot would very well go through, you know, it was dilapidated. It's like condemned. Um, yeah. Like no one had lived there for maybe 40, 50 years. Got it. So, and there was no houses within like miles of this place, like super off in the cut. And uh, so I didn't want to go in at first. I was like, this was cool when we were talking about it, but I, I don't know too much about actually going in the damn house, but I did. And uh, I went in with my two friends and immediately it was like this energy which sounds so corny, but it was this, this horrible energy. And granted, yes, I was already scared going in, but there was something else, okay? Uh, <laughs> Were you guys <laughs> under the influence of anything? No, no. This was when I was okay. um, a nice, sober person. Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, so we're going through this house. It's a two-story house and it's breaking apart as you even walk through it. Like the fact that I didn't get asbestos poisoning or something is honestly a miracle. And maybe I still did. I don't know. Maybe it'll pop up later. <laughs> but um, we're going up the stairs. And what's really scary is that one thing I forgot on the way to the house, Chris, who knew about the house before us, said that there are people who report to have seen a big black dog upon entering this house. And Listen, a big black dog is often depicted as the devil in like literature and, and you know what I mean? That's like the symbol. Like what's the word, Damien? I have goosebumps. Yeah. So right off the bat, I'm expecting to see a big black dog. I didn't see a big black dog, but as we're going up the stairs, there is this insanely loud howling noise that seemingly came from every direction. Like there was no discernible, like it's to the east, it's to the west, it's outside, it's inside. It, it felt like it was like omnipresent. Um, so that was scary. And immediately Kate, we were, did it that? sound like you said it was a howling noise. Did it sound like an animal noise or did it sound like, oh, yeah, it was, it was very much like a dog and or a wolf, much bigger than this one, much scarier than this one. <laughs> um, like it, it sounded like a big wolf that would rip your head off. Um, so immediately I freak out, start running back down the stairs and I'm running onto the porch. The porch is falling apart as I'm stepping on it. <laughs> Eventually they convince me to go back inside. They're like, you know, we're near the woods. It's a wolf. It is what it is. So I'm like, okay, I guess it is what it is. Um, go back up the house and we're up on the second floor and it's dead silent. I don't know why my friends were silent. I don't know why I was silent. I guess we were all just terrified. And there's just this weird humming noise that starts. And it was, it didn't sound like it was technology. It sounded almost like a, I want to say like a, not a human, but like a living creature. Which is really <laughs> okay. <laughs> terrible. Um, it sounded like a, like a, I'll try to reenact it. Like a, <clears throat> Hmm, like just okay, low, that's right? horrifying. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a choir. It's there a, was a choir. It's a giant honeybee. It's a honeybee for sure. <laughs> it could have very well been a bug. <laughs> 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 no shade, but it was now that I'm thinking about it, it was probably a bumblebee. Um, <laughs> either way, that was a wrap for me, right? Like I was like, I'm done with these noises. I'm done with these things. And so we run out of the house. We run to the car. We get in the car and there is this insane, like static, disgustingly scary noise coming out of the radio. And it's about enough to just freak us out. We're speeding home. The worst part is we get home and a few days later, Jacob, the friend that was with me, came to me. He's very into psychics and like spirituality and stuff that I'm just so not into, but he was. Mm -hmm. And he said he went to his psychic and his psychic started crying upon talking to him and saying, you have a spirit on you. This is new. This is something that happened recently. This is a spirit that's on you. Oh, um, and so for, yeah. And he fell into like, this part is actually really, really weird. Um, he fell into like a super serious depression after that. And he attributed it to like a spirit clinging onto him from the house. Um, so he oh, was like a wreck man. for months. Yeah, and then he started going to church, and he was never religious, and I think he got better after that. But um, long story short, it just felt like something scary. And I've looked into this house before. I forget the name of it. I literally should have researched it before I 
came on here. But I looked into <laughs> the house and apparently there's people that go to it and they see like people standing in the window upstairs that, you know, no one lives there. Why would there be people? Um, people report to see like a little girl that's like dead walking around the house. Like it's, it was a lot. Oh so, my fucking God. Yeah. It was enough for me to not ever want to step foot in a haunted house ever again. That is wild. That is so crazy. It's crazy. It's that's just, an that's, amazing story. It is very good. That's the second time that I've heard of somebody's car radio malfunctioning at like a haunted location. Your because sister. My sister went to a uh, dilapidated, condemned like uh, mental hospital. No, tuberculosis hospital. Tu- no, no, no. It was a mental hospital. It was in Alberta. And, oh my God. um, they, her and her friends went into the, the, the hospital and explored around or whatever. And same thing that you were saying. They got like super Denizen weird vibes chat. and stuff. Also and, high raiders. Sorry. And they ended up bailing and getting back to my sister's car. And when they got into the car, uh, the battery was dead. The car wouldn't turn over. Uh, oh just God. completely toast. So they like pop the hood and they're messing around with it. And everybody's horrified because they're trying to get out from mm-hmm. parked in front of this hospital. And all of a sudden the car turns on, boom, and the radio is at full blast and it's static. That Yeah, it's something to do with like the electronic waves or whatever, you know what I mean? And you know what's so funny is that I think the way I just even discovered you, Tom, is through your ghost story on YouTube. I think that's how I found you. No way. That's so random. Yeah. So Before we ever came into contact, I'm pretty sure I saw that. So when I hit you up and I was like, hey, do you want to be in a music video? You were like, aren't you like the ghost story guy? <laughs> like, what do you mean me, music yeah. video? Because <laughs> I noticed that you were following him because I've always been a fan of you. I watch your YouTube videos. I think you're so cool. And um, I was creeping your Twitter and it said, like, follows Tom McDonald. And I was like, babe, you're not going to believe this. She's like the queen. It's Blair. Like. <laughs> yeah, I discovered your music later, but I'm pretty sure my first introduction was that scary ass ghost story because it was a scary one. You told that on the stream so far, right? Yeah. No, I haven't yeah. told it yet. So. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, you're gonna. Have well, to that's our it. perfect yeah. segue. Yeah. 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 Insane. So, are you guys? You're out in Texas now, right? Yep. Best decision I ever made, and I still want you guys to move here. We're working out of on it. Way. Do they celebrate Halloween out there? Like, are you guys doing anything crazy? You know what's so lame is, (laughs) so when I moved here, I moved here right before Halloween last year. And, you know, in LA, it's like people do Halloween to the nines, right? There's parties for an entire two weeks beforehand. You wear costumes practically to the grocery store. I went to the busiest street in Austin. I'm not trying to like not sell Austin on you guys, but (laughs) uh, I went to the busiest street in Austin in a costume and there was like no one dressed up. On Halloween night. Crazy. And I was like, this is really lame. <laughs> so um, I'm hoping Halloween's cooler this year as more people from LA move here. But last yeah, year. Are you, was like, are you guys going to dress up? Yeah, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Last year, I was like an angel of death. So maybe this year I'll be like Sick. a good angel, but that's also super basic. So I don't know. I'll yeah, I, d- I definitely, I don't think you're going to be the only, um, you're not going to be the only angel wandering around out there. That's for sure. Exactly. I need to think of something <laughs> demented. I kind of want to think of something that like starts a little bit of controversy, you know? You? <laughs> <laughs> Chad, do you have any ideas for Blair's No costume? way. I find that hard maybe, to believe. Maybe I'll be, um, y'all know that uh, Canadian like trans teacher with the big silicone boobs? I heard about this. Maybe I'll be that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, oh is this the, the, this is the, I don't know, woman, man that you do like videos on, right? The Predator. That's a different one. There's a whole other one. There's like 10 of them at this point, which is really sad and demented. But this most recent one is, is a teacher <laughs> in Canada because of course it's Canada and uh, had huge, massive silicone yeah. boob. Like, oh, al- I saw like that. almost like to a comedic like level. I did like, yeah. like, like, yeah. like, and teaching in like wood, work, wood shop wood or shop. something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, so I maybe I'll get that. like, maybe I'll walk around with like a saw, and like big <laughs> a saw to two by four and just like massive boobs. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. I love that for you. Yeah. 